everyone, it's Roid Man, and welcome back to Sly Cooper and Athebius Raccoonus. Last time, we climbed up a giant mountain of iron and test our speedrunning skills to get to a jetpack. And now this time, I'll let Bentley do the explaining. Sly Cooper, you have sent my gas chamber and destroyed my death ray. Perfection has no age. What? You're immortal? Revenge is the final ingredient in final ingredients. I've kept myself alive for hundreds of years with a steady diet of jealousy and hate. A waiting a day when I'm finally at your man's being meditation. Sly! My missiles don't hurt him but seem to create holes in his armor. Shoot into the gaps I create! Okay, so basically we are playing keep away with this. The best way to take him out is when Carmelita shoots at his armor. So basically start dodging when when basically he shoots and when Carmelita gives you gives you a sign to shoot, shoot. Which there's no sign to shoot there. Luckily I can dodge and now we're attacking the tail feathers. This starts out easy but then becomes a lot harder later. As you can see, the health bar does go down fast. It's more or less just a matter of dodging through this first through phase. Okay, come on. I'm trying to shoot away. Thank you! have known my father had a son. If you hated the Cooper so much, why did you let me live when you stole the Thievius Raccoonus? Because I wanted to show the world about your precious book. The Cooper line is nothing. Ah, well, there's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create great thieves. It takes great thieves to create the Thievius Raccoonus. Enough, Sly Cooper. It ends here. I will finish you like I finished your father. Then the Cooper line will be Okay, so this next phase. Get ready to fly between these rings. You don't fly between these rings, and you're just gonna get zapped. Once Carmelita gives you the signal, shoot his wings. My intellect is refined. My experience is greater. Okay, let's shoot that wing again. Yeah, this is more or less just keeping up with the pattern. Eventually, once Clockwork gets low enough to an HP, he's going to do something different. Which, yeah, now we can shoot the other wing. Now, I think this is where Clockwork does something a little bit different. No, not yet. Okay, let's shoot his head. Okay, I know he does something different this time. No? I swear he does something different. Okay, let's shoot his other wing. I swear he did something different. By the way, I am. Oh boy, just to warn you right now, there is no checkpoint at this point, so if you fail at this point, you have to... No! No, come on! So remember what I said, there's no checkpoint? Yeah, we have to do all that again. So... Luckily, it wasn't that hard. The second phase wasn't that hard at all. I expected him to do something different, but... My intellect is My experience is great. But it's that final phase that you have to use the rest of your skills. You cannot assume me. And this first phase is pretty easy. All you have to do is just dodge his fire. Yes, 
Okay, that's the first phase. Now I believe they do repeat the dialogue over and over again. I think. Oh good, they don't repeat the dialogue. So all we have to do is just go through the rings over and over. I would love to be at least aligned with them. Okay, let's shoot the, the wings. And I swear there was something different with these wing, rings. Because I remember them basically inverting so you have to shoot through the rings. But I might be incorrect on that. Okay, let's shoot that other wing. Luckily, it's not going to penalize me if I don't get it correctly. Now we just you have to do this one more time. Ah, uh, yes, I can dodge you forever. Even if I do fail a few of these patterns, I can still dodge you forever. There we go. Now for the final phase. Now, like I said, you need to be careful at this phase. Because not only are, is he right, right there, he's throwing obstacles your way. Oh, yeah. There is a security system there, so be careful of that as well. And just see if you can try to lead the shot. No! That's what I'm doing wrong! I'm not holding circle! Okay, third time's a charm. So, dodging the fire, shooting the head. Dodging the fire again, and we'll shoot the feet. You're the weakest cooper on yet. And yet, we're somehow going against him. Dodging fire. At some certain point, we should be able to get something. Dodging that fire, and we need to shoot that top wing. And now, da, da, blast it, he got me with a parting shot. Now, honestly, this is not my favorite boss to go against. Miss Ruby's a lot worse because I just don't like doing that, but this one is just above Ruby. Okay, I need to see what the heck I'm doing here. And... There we go. Now I just have to dodge this fire. I said dodge. This is actually going to take me a longer time than I thought it would. Shoot the head. Then we have to shoot the feet. Dodge the fireballs, shoot the tail. Then we have to get up here. I want to start from this side so I can just dodge. Okay, get ready to dodge. Okay, get ready to dodge again. Okay, that last wing is hard to shoot down. Then he falls into the lava again. At this point, you want to make sure you're at least centered with the map. So let's see, where are you shooting the first one? One, two, three, four, shoot the wing. Oh, we didn't get that wing dip, dip down enough. One, two, three, four. Shoot the wing. One, two, three, four. Shoot the wing. You cannot escape me. One, 
two, three, four, shoot the head. One, two, three, four. And by the way, the method I'm using, it actually does help me focus a lot just to do that, just so I know what pattern I'm on. And now, without failure this time, because now I know what the heck I need to be doing here. So, those laser things, just be careful of them. And now I know for a fact I need to hold on to this. And comes the last part. Oh boy. Ah, oh, come on! If I just had something! Also, don't even think about using your thieving skills here. They're no use here. Okay. Wait for him to shoot. Shoot the feet. My skills are superior. Yeah. Carmelita does a little bit of damage when... Oh, blast it. And I just lost the horseshoe, which I could have used in the obstacle course. So that's gonna... I'm gonna pay for that later. Okay, first phase done. So get ready for second phase, which we just count to four. You can have a suit me. One, two, three, four, shoot. And yeah, just take your time with this one. Especially with the fact that I'm not aiming correctly for these things. Like I'm being very gutsy about doing that. My intellect is refined. One, is greater. two, three, four, shoot the head. One, two, three, four, shoot the wing. I said shoot the wing. Ha, blast it. One, two, Three, four, shoot the wing. And we're back down to that again. And now, speed rat running tactics. So, as long as you know where you need to go, basically, just escaping all of this should be easy. You can't really use your invisibility technique because... Clockwork knows where you are. <sighs> Come on. Okay, let's do this again. You're the weakest in the world, yes. My skills are superior. Yeah, if you stay in place a little bit, anything that's firing at you, you can actually pretty much dodge. So that's at least something good to know. Oh, so this is probably one of the main reasons why not getting all the Thievius Raccoonus pages are that important because Clockwork actually stops us from doing something. Okay, time for this phase now. Okay, so where is the first one going? One, two, three, four, shoot the wing. Okay, getting to the center. One, two, three, four, Shoot the wing. One, two, three, 
One, two, three, four. I do get a little bit nervous once when I'm like a little too high or not in the correct area for those rays. Because if you are a tad bit off, it can shock you. Okay, let's shoot this final ring. Which good, we got it. Okay, now for this phase again. The one that we can't get past. I am. If anything, just watch where those things are going. Wait, come on! Okay, let's... Not... Why can't you move faster, Sly? And we're back to this point again. My intellect is Okay. You cannot save me. Shooting the feet. Dodging that. Shooting the feet again. Yeah, those wings can actually get in the way. Shooting the tail. There we go. Now we just have to shoot the other way. My skills are simple. Okay, good. Time for second phase. Now let's just wait for you to shoot out your rings. That's one, and uh, still get nervous when I'm like that close to the edge of that ring. Okay, shoot the wing. There we go. You're the weakest Cooper I've yet encountered. Okay. Taking care of these rings. Luckily, he only fires four at a time, and he doesn't change it up, so that's at least good. Okay. One. Two, three, four, shoot the head. One, two, three, four, shoot in the wing. Okay, now to the difficult part. If anything, I'm surprised that some of my actions haven't registered by doing this. I am. And unfortunately, there is no safe point for me to do this. Dodging, 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 jump, dodging, 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 dodging. Please bring me back up there. Feet together. Why didn't you register? I I'm dumbfounded. I know for a fact I pressed circle. My intellect is refined. Ah, gotta start holding circle because that's probably why I'm not getting it. Yeah, that's probably one of my main gripes is there are some certain sections that you don't register and that can easily cost ya. Okay. You're the weakest Cooper I've yet Shooting the tail. My skills are simple. And getting that wing down. Now for the next part. Luckily we have a golden horseshoe. In this part we have not been getting hit yet, so that's at least good. Because I said that, I probably just jinxed it. Again, I get super nervous when I'm that high. Okay. 
One, two, three, four. Shoot the stupid wing. One, two, three, four. Shoot the stupid head. You can't dodge me forever. Yes, I can. It's just your security, I can't dodge. There we go. Now for the final phase. Let's try this one more time. We have a golden horseshoe. Let's not fail this. this. I am. Why didn't it register? It's not registering! This is actually what I was talking about. The one problem I have is this thing not registering my thief moves. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good, good, good. Dodging. Okay, I think I can relax a little bit at this point. No, I cannot. Why doesn't it register? What am I doing wrong? Okay, that takes care of the head. Now for the feet. Okay, now we wait for this thing to fire. That takes care of that. Now for the second phase, which takes the longest. Let's see here, you where are you firing the first one? Forever. One, two, three, four. That takes care of that. One, two, three, four. Luckily, Carmelita does damage him a little bit. Okay. Come on. Got one more. Come on. One more. Taking it out clockwork. And now he falls. And game, you are gonna register my command. Which I am seven. There we go. Thank you. You are now registering my commands. Dodging, 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 dodging. Jump, dodging. Okay, so here's a theory that I have. Okay. That's my theory. Feet together. I okay. We just have to climb up now. Immortal. And... <gasps> you, you know, thank you. I would have been very angry if I did not have a horseshoe. Let's take this out. It took some tricky maneuvering, but I managed to snatch that last piece of the Thievius Raccoonus from Clockwork's claw. I had taken down each member of the Fiendish Five. Raleigh, Mugshot, Ms. Ruby, the Panda King, and finally Clockwork. I'd beaten them all one by one and reclaimed my birthright. Of course, 
There was no way I could have gotten here without the help of my pals. I know this hasn't been easy for them, but they stuck with me through it all. <laughs> Murray. Boy, it took a lot of guts for him to get out in the field with me. I know he was scared, but he's got more heart than anyone I've ever known. And thank goodness for Bentley. Without his expertise, I'd have never found my way off that rooftop in Paris. A guy couldn't ask for a better gang of friends. <laughs> Who could ever forget the lovely Carmelita? Looks like we're not going to be friends anymore. Now that Clockwork's death ray is out of commission, we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. One. I felt bad leaving her stranded on that giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long before we'd see each other again. And that was Sly Cooper! How do I feel about this game? There are certain sections I like, certain sections I don't like, and certain sections I loathe. The minigames. I do not like them. The fact that I have to go through them just to beat the game is already painful enough. Miss Ruby's area shows how much I dislike the minigames, and the fact that the final boss ends up as a minigame as well because you're not really using Sly Cooper's abilities to fight him. It is a little bit disappointing, but at the final final phase of the battle, you can basically use your skills. It's just the fact that some of my DV, DV moves weren't registering. But otherwise, the bright side of what I've, I've actually have enjoyed a lot of other things. More or less, a lot of the Murray Mini games I don't mind that much because you do get to play as another character or cover another character. So it's not just Sly just working by himself. And of course the finale of this whole thing is just stress inducing if you are not honed with your skills. Doing those time trials, I don't personally do them myself. They're not required to beat the game. But if you want 100% completion, yeah, yeah, you'll have to beat them. But all it does is get you the commentary of the whole game. Other than that, it's a very unique touch on the on this platformer genre. And apparently Clockwork is still alive. And Murray is scared about it. to tell you this sly but the thievius raccoonus isn't fully restored you're gonna have to go back and unlock all the vaults to find the pages you're missing there is some good news though a friend of mine in japan just sent me this really cool movie and guess what it's all about us <laughs> このデータファイルがあれば父ちゃんの敵が撃てる。名誉にかけて狙うは悪党のみ。全人からは奪わない。ところが俺様が秘伝書を受け継ぐことになったよ。突然5人のギャングがやってきた。奴ら俺を守ろうとした父ちゃんを。そして父と見つけ出してしまった
そして俺様は独りぼっち町の孤児院に入っただがここで素晴らしい仲間に出会ったんだ天才発明家頼れる相棒ベントレそしてマーレ食いしん坊でちょっとドジだがまあ憎めない弟分さ仲間と一緒に俺様は父ちゃんの敵を討ちそして秘伝書を取り返すクーパーの名前に恥じない義族になれるかそれとも失敗してご先祖の顔に泥を塗るのかさあ俺様たちの運命はどっちだ So you do get a Japanese cutscene for beating the game, but there is one unfinished business, and of course I'm not going to end this without getting that unfinished business. We have a book to complete. I'll meet you back at a certain level. So if you do recall, there was a safe we couldn't open, but now... So let's see what our final page is. Two, three, one. Better be good. Amazing! Colonel Reed Cooper's Time Stopper technique. Press the triangle button and execute a flashbang that will stun all guards in the world for a few seconds. I can see how this might be useful and entertaining too. So, at long last, the Thievius Raccoonus restored to its original state. The first time I held the whole thing under my arm since I was eight years old. The same weight that all my ancestors had felt beneath their arms as they had passed it on. Although, while other family members may have been great thieves, they all inherited the book. I got a chance to earn it. I had taken down the Fiendish Five, having used the moves my ancestors taught me. And become a master thief along the way. The time had come for me to chronicle my own adventures into the great book. This is gonna be fun. And we get the. And we get the credit scene again. So, not much of change. Of course, that stun move does work on all guards. I'm not 100% sure it works on Carmelita, but that stun move can actually basically stun any guard that you want. It's in a way that you need stun the guard for a few seconds. So, my personal experience with this game, it's more or less just playing any kind of other platformer, but just, you have to be sneaky. The fact that you can only die in one hit and you only have like a few horseshoes just to protect yourself makes you think of what's more if you're willing to risk what you need to get all the loot and such. So, along with that, I'm just gonna let this music play again, so. I don't think I covered any positives. I did enjoy a lot of the aspects of this game. The characters, Bentley's being one of my favorite characters, and I do like the hacking minigame to a certain extent. If anything, the sequel games do, do get better after this. You don't have to worry about the whole one hit thing, but that's for when we do go to the next game of the sequel. And I don't think it'll actually show Clockwork again? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it'll show clock Clockwork still being alive. Murray being scared. You've done it, Sly! The Thievius Raccoonus is complete! Now, try beating all the Master Thief sprints to unlock the designer's commentary. Once you've unlocked them all, I've got a special behind the scenes movie to show you. So yeah, all there is left is the speedrunning time trials, but I'm not going to cover those. It's, it's just a commentary that I don't feel like it's really important to get. So next time on the channel, 
another project.